Uh, in Mississippi this morning, there is more outrage over the pardon of over 200 prisoners. Outgoing Governor Haley Barber issued the mass pardons this week as one of his last official acts. Anna Werner is in Jackson, Mississippi. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Well, this really is the talk of the town in Jackson. People trying to understand the governor's decision. Even legislators here say they're just as confused as members of the general public. Haley Barber pardoned 203 criminals, and four of them were convicted murderers who were part of a prison work program. They were actually working at the governor's mansion. And those pardons are something that Democratic legislator Bobby Moak told us he finds disturbing. There's one thing that at least Mississippians have a perception of, and that is the path to pardon goes through the governor's mansion as to being a trustee. That's the thing that's settling in the minds of a lot of Mississippians, and they don't like that. That's what people are now beginning to believe, that if you're a trustee at the governor's mansion, you're going to get a pardon. You've got a better chance than the guy who's sitting in a jail cell. Well, for his part, former Governor Barber told CBS News yesterday that there are a couple of explanations for the large number of pardons. First of all, he says that 189 of the 203 pardons are people who were already released from prison. In some cases, he says, for years and years. Another 13, he said, were released because they were sick and, as he said, were costing the state of Mississippi a lot of money. He told us that we let them go because they were really expensive. But as for the four who were working at the governor's mansion. He told us he has no apologies about those pardons. And a Warner, thanks.